Hi and welcome to this tutorial by Ricky Lee for RickyLee.com. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a new password for your Joomla website. If you forgot your username, you'll be able to see it. So what you'll need to do first, whether you are running it on a local machine or on the internet, you'll need to open up a web browser. and I'm using the latest Firefox web browser and you'll need this particular software please type in and go to this address this is an online this is an online MD5 generator what that means is your PHP uses a, an MD5 password encryption so to create a new password you will need to use this converter when you get to this website and you don't see online MD5 generator go ahead and come over here and highlight this particular tab alright and in here what I'm going to do is from my pre previous uh, visit my password is admin1 which I created previously so at this time what I'm going to do is create a new password I'm going to make add min ricky1. All right. What you want to do right here is copy the MD5 encryption of your text password. So highlight this the content of this box, do a control copy, and then open up another tab or another web browser and this latest Firefox web browser I can just click on another tab and I'm gonna go into my PHP my admin administrator side in my local local host machine so it's gonna be localhost and then I'm gonna type PHP my admin you may have to go through your cPanel if you have uh, an online server, you'll need access to your website's account. Go through the cPanel and click into my PHP My Admin. And once you're here, you should see all the databases on the left here. Click into the database that is associated with the website that you, the Joomla website that you want to change the password to. Click into it. Mine happens to be Ricky Lee One that's the database for the website that I need to change the password to and in the table JOS JOS underscore users that's the table you need to click into so go ahead and left click into it and this will take you into the table and show you all the users in my case there's only one user the administrator which is me the username is right here so if you forgot your username you get to see it and here you see the password the password is encrypted this is called the MD5 encryption of the text password that the user created so we want to change that password make sure this box right here is checked to select this particular user to be edited and you'll come down here and select the tool that you'll need to edit this user's password click in to this icon it looks like a pen or pencil and it will open up another window and up here it tells you you're in the table JOS JOS underscore users and database Ricky Lee one in the local host and I'm clicking on the tab password so you'll know that we are changing the password move over to the right highlight it delete it do a control V for control paste or you can go up to the bar up here uh, edit paste and now I'm pasting the MD5 conversion from this page okay I'm convert I'm pasting the MD5 encryption found on this web page right here into my P 
PHP my admin database changing the user which is me remember here is your username here's the new password that you paste in there the encryption version so go ahead and click click go this will change the password and you remember the username here it says one row affected that means it's changed go ahead and click close by exiting out of it or you can log out of it if you're logged into your cPanel and now open up a new browser if you happen to already have your Joomla website browser already open and the page that says you cannot log in if it's still there be sure to make to hit control R to reload you need to clear out the old username and password so when you put in the new password you'll be able to log in so I'm going to type in localhost slash R Lee which is my localhost Joomla website and then I'm going to slash add administrator and then hit enter on the keyboard so now I'm going to type the username which is admin and that's the wrong password I'm going to delete it out and then I'm going to type in the new password and I still have the new password over here the one I created showing over here so just to be sure I'm gonna hit control copy bring it over go to the password section do a control V for paste and then I'm gonna hit login and if I did it correctly I should be able to see at the administrator side of my Joomla website okay I did it correctly and I hope this tutorial helped you if you have any questions or if you would like to see this tutorial in high definition feel free to stop by at rickylee.com and download it also please leave a the highest rating that you feel like you can give to this video where you are watching it thank you